as you can see, the resistance on this switch, which is faulty, is 6.7 on my 20k scale, which means that it's 6,770, um, sorry, 6.7 uh, K ohms, 6,770 ohms. As we push this down, it goes down to about 0.5 of a K, which is 500 ohms, that's too high. What we need to do is bring that down to about 200 and that top reading there at 6.77 down to about 3k. So uh, let me do that now. I'll get this thing soldered together and I'll hopefully be able to show you the difference. Hi, uh, here's another video about how to repair the Volvo clutch position sensor. Uh, this time, instead of using the standard resistor, fixed resistor, I'm going to use one of these, which is a little... 5k potentiometer you can see on the top there now the beauty of using this is we'll be able to vary the resistance and then we can actually set exactly um, what the sensor is seeing and it also gives us the option that um, if in the future the uh, resistive tracks inside the sensor degrade it means you can then just alter the resistance again bring it back into tolerance and the thing will work and the beauty of doing it this way means that um, you won't actually have to replace the unit it would just be a case of um, either taking it off and measuring the resistance bringing it down to 3k 3 kilo ohms which is the seems to be the trigger sort of resistance for the uh, sensor on the volvo ecu um, so you could just take it off put it on the meter and um, then it will uh, you know, set it as normal. I'll just show you the um, this one as it's set. Let's get this one open for you. One second. Okay, so all we do to get this open is press the two clips at the side here. It's very difficult to do it with one hand. One clip there and there, and then just pull this casing out, and it'll expose what's inside. I'll just do that. I can't uh, do it with one hand. Okay, there's inside the sensor. As you can see, there's the two contacts there, what we're going to solder to in a moment. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put and uh, run a little wire through. And fortunately for us, there's already a hole, a hole, a very small hole. You can probably just see it in the bottom there. And just, if I can just get that in focus. Now, it's a little bit too small for the wire that I'm using at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just put a screwdriver in that and um, widen it up a little bit and then I can get the wire through. I'll uh, show you that now. Okay, there's the hole. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger with this screwdriver, so just give me a second. So just poke the screwdriver through like that, made that hole a little bigger. That now means put a little piece of cable through like this. Now this is actually a little vent hole so you don't need to seal it up. What I'm going to do is solder these ends to let's get that spring out of the way to those two contacts on there sort of like that and then when I put this back on We'll have the wires out of here, and then I will attach the 5k resistor and solder those wires to there. So, um, if you let me do that, I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, now there's the wires soldered on the inside. It doesn't matter which way around you solder these, they're not polarised, it's just a resistive uh, circuit so uh, you can go any way you want. So what I'm going to do now is feed that through to the outside, pop the cap on and attach the uh, rear stat potentiometer. Back in a second. Okay now there's the potentiometer connected. I've left a little bit uh, long cable so I can mess around with it. You want to solder, don't go out of focus, you want to solder to the center pin on the potentiometer and one of the side ones. It doesn't make many difference, the center one is the common and then whichever way you twist this potentiometer here, it'll either turn towards this one 
all towards this one so it just it's just a case of you turning it whichever way you, you need to to get the correct uh, resistance let's um see if we can uh, test the um, resistance on this now and see if it makes any difference it will make a difference straight away because this is a 5k potentiometer so already we've got the two resistors in parallel but what i'm doing as i reduce the resi resistance on the potentiometer here is i'm reducing the effect of the parallel resistance which will then bring the sensor down back to within tolerance and like i say uh, from experience i'm looking at um getting it down to about three kilo ohms which is what the um, Volvo ECU senses as a good sensor and will then allow your cruise control to come back on and, uh, and do all the things that it's supposed to do. Um, these are a very expensive part. This was over £50 here in the UK, so it's about $70. So uh, replacing, uh, fixing it with this potentiometer, which is pence, um, I, I got these, I think these were about 20 pence each. So a little bit of soldering. And a little bit of time could potentially save uh, quite a fistful of money. So let's see if I can uh, get this set up and show you the difference in the potentiometer and the voltage and uh, see if it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. One second. Okay, that's the potentiometer connected across it. Now, because it's only a 5k resistor, it's already brought the resistance down quite a lot and uh, it's brought it back down to all the almost perfect value. But what I will do now is I'll try and show you. I can vary this. So as I turn this, you can see the resistance falling away and until ultimately you can take it down to nothing. Now, this means that, turn that back out all the other way. Now, if I fit this to the vehicle now, that will work. If in the future, the resistive track, which runs inside here, which is obviously affected by the actuation of the clutch, Let's see if I can show you that. That goes down to 450 ohms, 440 ohms. If that changes, and they do change apparently, um, when they get oil and they get old and what have you, that resistance will need to be altered. Um, this gives us the ability now, as it gets out of range, just say for instance that was a sort of 3.5k, something like that, you would then just turn it down a little bit, until it came back to about 3k is the uh, is the, the right sort of uh, resistance value and then I'll turn mine back out now as that goes there fit that to your vehicle and it'll be good to go so there we go another cheap fix and an alternative fix which is a bit future proof hope you've enjoyed it uh, please like and subscribe thank you very much bye bye